Hello everyone, I'm ExtraCheesy87 and this is Let's Play Trails of Cold Steel 2 Part 6. In the previous video, we began our Chapter 1 journey. We uh, used magic powers to teleport to Lenaria Nature Forest uh, over here with Toval. We're trying to go meet up with some of our classmates that we learned are near Keldic. Uh, we also were fighting this big uh, Lord of the Forest who we did we're not quite able to beat at the end of the last video. It's been a uh, two days since the, the initial recording session. Um, Watch out. I came, at, came back, retooled everyone a little bit. I didn't know we had an anti-faint accessory, so I equipped that on Reen. We're just going to try and rely on Tovel's uh, wing, hopefully, and he won't need it. So, like, the main difference is that Tovel has Here an extra 1,000 HP from an HP ornament, and Reen can now chrono drive us. Marcus, activate. And instead, Tobal can just focus on blasting. Yeah. Now, I wonder. I I didn't think about bro. I didn't think I'm about up. this at the time, but like I should have maybe got like an aqua. Like any well, aqua blade doesn't have an effect associated with it. I guess I could have gotten you like flame bolts or something, so that you could at least have like the very tiny chance to burn. What are we gonna do with this crit? Just activate. Here you go. Here I go. Oh yeah. Also, I gave you Earth Pulse, just because. I, I mean, it seems he it's heavily nerfed, but um, compared to how it was in the first game, or at least the first difficulty mod. Um, whenever I talk about the first game, just assume with the caveat I'm referring to with the difficulty mod, because I don't really, you know, differentiate between the two balances. Uh. I think we're fucking toasted, dude. Well, actually, no. Overdrive. Overdrive. We, we were almost toasted. And that does heal you as well. I forgot about that. Okay. Um, Firebolt. Huh. Sure thing. I mean, since you crit, go ahead and go for it, even though it's Here not main efficient. My turn. Because it's only a 20%. Yeah. So, I mean, it's extremely low. It's like a 2% chance, I think. Yeah, I think he only has Ready like a to 10% go. to burn. Yeah. I wonder if poison's any good in this game. Because it was unbelievable trash. And, uh... I really wish I got gotten you a heal. I think we maybe actually had it available. I think that's actually what I meant to buy on you. And I think about it. Here's what you do. I think you heal Reen and get close Here enough go, so that thanks. he can chrono drive you. Here I go. I am a little worried about being this yeah. close. Sure thing. Since he does have AoE capabilities. Here, go. Here I go. Like honestly, I kinda want you to like move very far away from Tobol now that you have your speed buff. Burn to ash. Whoa! Sure thing. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. There's like a slight chance he lives. I'm sorry. Oh, we were so close. Sure thing. <laughs> sure thing. I think you have to. We have to use our celestial bomb regardless here. Here we go. Thanks. I mean, just for healing, so may as well go ahead and pop it now. Ready to go. Marcus, activate. My turn. And you instead. Let's try Earth Pulse. Also, link up. Marcus, activate. Here you go. Yeah. Does it kick it automatically? It does not. I'm up. The rain might just get turbo bopped here. Marcus, act <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that fucking sucks, dude. Sure thing. Yeah, we, we, this is a failed attempt. We just didn't get like, I mean, if, if Reen had lived through either one of those attacks with like one HP, we could have maybe recovered. <laughs> Yeah. Guess I pushed my luck. Watch out! Let's move. Uh, sure thing. 
Should we? Well, now we can't get the double chrono off regardless. To start. I kind of want to fish Try for this. this. No, it's you're never gonna get it to work. Fire! Right? It's like in my head, I'm like, debuff should be good, but actuality, they're trash. Huh. Let's move. Just due to the way they only work for one turn. Arcus activate. Huh. I'm up. Let's move. Okay, so you should get a heal here. So I mean, you could cast it on yourself and have Tobal move. Marcus, activate. Sure thing. And just give you like a little Thanks. tiny baby heal, just to yeah. make sure you get to max here. Ready to go. Marcus, activate. My turn. Marcus, activate. <laughs> oh lord, he coming, dude. Sure thing. Here you go. My turn. I think you want to Earth Pulse, Earth Pulse Toval now. Huh. Cheers. I mean, five turns Ready is a lot. And it's basically a... It's slightly worse than a tier. Each time. Marcus, activate. <laughs> Here you go. Here I go. And since we're attacking pretty fast, now Reen is completely out of mana. Huh. I'm up. It is an expensive spell. Okay, speed's still okay for now. Since Reen is running into the mana issues and needs to re-up his Earth Pulse. Just activate. We don't have double strength. This should not kill us. Here you go. Wasn't even I'm not done yet. I wasn't even close to dying. Honestly, I think you regular tier. Uh, yeah! Sure thing. Just activate. Here you go. Here I go. Then we overdrive. Here goes. Overdrive! I may have forgotten Overdrive existed, not gonna lie. Huh. Sure thing. <laughs> Let's move. Oh, yeah, you do get mana from that as well. I was like, I was wondering why uh, Tobal had max mana there. Honestly, I think you just yeah, re-up the Earth Pulse. I'm up. Let's move. His, his defense isn't buffed right now. I think we want to save crafts for just getting the max CP attack in. I think it's going to be overall more damage. Sit. And that Ready did to go. move you far enough away that... Yeah, go ahead and do it now. My turn. I think staying fast is pretty important for us. I'm up. This is actually going pretty well. We've got him in a good loop. Here I go. Now I do think you want to. Oh, we're out of EPs. Okay. Uh. I think you just keep whacking. Now's your chance. You get like an extra 500 from a rush. I guess we're like a thousand. I'm up. Here you go. Now I don't remember Watch how much up. our ults do at all. Nah, I think you just hit ha! get the damage in. Ready to go. I kind of like just going for it. On Reen, at least. Marcus, activate. Just so that he can start building up his next ult. I think we'll save Tobles. For like... Mainly just to prevent a potential like HP heal on the boss. Since 50% 50, 50 can pop up. And, you know, we need a way to deal with that. That does 4,000. So Tobles will probably do about 5k then. Sure thing. Activate. Here you go. I'm up. Here you go. Here I go. 
Actually, we'll probably go for the crit here on him. Yeah. That's gonna be a, a big enough damage. I don't. What do I do in the meantime? Um, we can't really cast a spell. Here, give Rain a little, little bit of a heal. Go for your crit. Thanks. That should do. I would say at least seven k, right? If Rain did four k with a crit, you should do. Okay, six. So borderline. We can still lose though, so don't don't get cocky, kid. Don't get cocky. I think you just save mana or save CP. Okay, we got extremely lucky there. I don't know. I guess analyze. Yeah. Okay, it does let you get to move I'm again up. quickly, so that was uh, totally my plan. Honestly, you just go for the maximum damage. My turn. Sit. I think we've got him. I'm up. Is this should finish him? Here you go. Let's like move. I said, this should finish him. If he missed, might have had a quick end of the LP. That was pretty fun, though. Okay, little little minor efficiency we, we worked out there with having Reen move just forward enough so that he doesn't double hit us. And our gauge, okay, our gauge charges a little bit after combat. Combat already does feel like a, de a decent bit different than the way Cold Steel 1 played with the difficulty mod. It's like a lot less status-based. Um, then the first game was, because the first game it was like Burn, Baby Burn, Disco Inferno. I'm surprised we managed it with just the two of us. Now I just need to figure out what happened back there. Celine, you said I was the cause, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. I can feel the link between the two of you becoming stronger. And the power that made it possible came from you, Reen, because you're an Awakener. Um, what? Sorry, but that's all I know. I'm just uh, telling you what I felt. I've got no idea what caused it to happen. You know, this could be a huge advantage to us if you learn to master it. No arguments here. No, practice makes perfect, so let's try and use it as much as possible. About Overdrive. Overdrive provides many advantages during battle, making it a powerful asset if used correctly. Once activated, both members... I mean, we just learned about it. <laughs> um, why are you explaining it to me again? How to charge the overdrive gauge. Okay, it charges through dealing damage to enemies and providing support to party members. The gauge will also charge based on your tactical bonus after battle. The higher the bonus, the more it will charge up. While preferring preserving overdrive use is a valid strategy, utilizing it often is the key to swift efficient combat. Okay, so it's a little so it seems to be a bit more spammable than say burst was in a Azure where you kind of just always wanted to save it. It's not nearly as OP as Burst was, which is nice. Phew! Glad to be out of there. Higher elements don't seem to be active outside of the park from what I can tell. Although something still feels off. It feels like something is starting to happen here in Erebonium. As to what, you got me. Just saying something doesn't make it sound very good. Eh, let's put that off for now. So let's start gathering some info. How much control the Nobo Alliance has in this area and all that fun stuff. It'd be ideal if we could find out at least that before we get to town. I don't know who we could ask. There should be a farmhouse nearby. Wanna start basking there? Don't see why we shouldn't. Just make sure you don't end up drawing suspicion. Naturally, I'll be keeping my mouth shut as long as you're in front of people. Got it, and I'll show you to the way. Ooh, the music is pretty good. Ooh, you materials for me. I mean, we're gonna put crates in front of me. I mean, I might smash them. <laughs> um... I 
I can't run in there with my sword drawn? Lame. What's up? Hey there, who might you two be? I don't think I've ever seen you around these parts. We've talked before. Anything we can help you with? Mm, you actually look awfully familiar, young man. Have we met? Um, actually... We're a travel emergency, see? We just got here too, so don't exactly have the best grasp on the current situation. I'd totally appreciate it if you could uh, get some info from the locals. Traveling merchants, huh? Must be rough for you guys. Well, I'll be glad to give you a rundown of things if that's what you're looking for. Wow, he really is resourceful. Um, th thank you. We inquired about the state of things in Celtic over the past month. To be honest, I haven't been all that crazy here. In fact, you could say it's almost in peace. Well, there have been no major battles or anything. Yeah, mainly because the Noble Alliance is dominating. Granted, Celtic itself has been pretty tense ever since everything started. I see. How much your farm then? Safe to assume things haven't changed much on that front? Not exactly. With all the restrictions on the railroad network, among other things, we've been feeling the effects of the war. Grand Market's taken a massive hit thanks to those train restrictions too, which makes our situation worse. Yeah, almost everything we produce here gets sold off at the market. Doesn't help the provincial army's been requisitioning goods from people lately too. Yeah, here's hoping things go back to normal soon. <laughs> You're preaching to the choir. This might sound like an odd question, but uh, you haven't seen any students around this area recently, have you? Students! Can't say we have. Why do you ask? Oh, uh, no, no real reason. Just curious. We'll get out of your hair now. Thanks for the update. Should make our lives a bit easier. No worries. Sure, you ain't seen no orange-haired dude carries a violin stronger than God Himself. No. Okay. Just wash your backs if you're gonna be here for a while. Thanks for the warning. We'll keep our eyes open. There's probably a stretch to hope for any leads around here. I want to get some info on what the Noble Alliance is up to. But yeah, let's just check out Celtic for now. I don't expect we run into much trouble while we're there. You know the way, right? Uh, yeah, just go straight, dude. My sister's working over at Celtic, so I'm pretty worried about her. And she doesn't have the time to come home since her workplace is so busy. She's the only one who can do chores, too, so this place is a total mess. Now, don't get me wrong, it's like I want her to come back uh, just so she can do the chores for us. What do you mean she's the only one that can do the chores? Celtic's been on edge ever since this war broke out, so uh, hopefully she's doing well enough despite that. I heard the provincial army started requisitioning goods down south. Chances are they'll start doing the same up here soon enough, too. Oh well, no point worrying too much about that now. Maybe be great if this war just ended already. Bro, it's been a month. Don't, don't mind me, sir. I'm just uh, going to get my loot. We don't have to be friends. I mean, oh, enemies. Chest. I wonder what's inside. We can be friends, man and bird. White glasses. Probably blind, I would assume. Maybe confusion. I don't know why I thought confusion, but well, maybe like you know you can't see things and get confused by them. That's the reason. Don't you dare do it, you little fucking bug piece of shit. Okay. So I can't get the timing down. Here I go. It's like you don't stun as long in this game. Burn to a now, this is what I think it. is throwing me off. You're done. Ready to go. Burn, you're off balance. Got you. My turn. Ha! Green. Here you go. Sorry. That's it for you. Uh, why is accuracy a mechanic in games? I mean, I don't mind accuracy as a mechanic. I mean, I think it's kind of bad, but... It's not so bad when you get actual hit percentages. If you don't have hit percentages, you should never miss. If I'm not able to actually plan around, like, the percentage chance of my attack hitting, don't have accuracy checks in your game. It only take a few hours on foot from here. Wonder how things are over in Trista? If it's bugging you that much, you can always just take a look. Do we have the time? Not for detours. Celtic's right over there. I know we're short on time, but still. It's obvious that it's on your mind. And trust me, people work better if they got less in their mind to weigh them down. You're, you're sure you don't mind? All I want to do is to get a rough idea of how things are in the region. That shouldn't take up too much time, I think. I'm up for it. Oh, let's get this over with. But like, okay, like, Green, I get it. But like, what if we were to recruit Elliot first? Just, you know, 
I think that might be a good idea. What if we uh, recruited Elliot first? Don't worry, Doggo. We don't have to be enemies. Oh, chest. I wonder what's inside. Running, running. I, mean, I guess we can equip that on a... Oh, that's a time one. Uh, put the attack there. Put the shield here. Seven magic evasion. I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at. I don't know why you'd be sneezing at it in the first place, but uh, you shouldn't. So we finally got to go on the highway at long last. We finally Now's our chance. Let's go. Gotten it. Here I go. Burn to a fall. Maybe Now's it's just a matter chance. of getting the, the new done. timing then. Sure thing. My turn. That's that. Let's keep moving. Assorted grains. Pretty good get, man. Pretty good get. My first time on this highway, actually. Is that a palm? Oh yeah. Do those exist. This area ah! wasn't part of your field study, then. I'm guessing. I guess I need to get used to doing the double hit. Now's our chance. That's also Let's part of the issue. Turn. Second form. Damn. Now's our chance. Now's our chance. You just said that, Reed. Oh, pog. You nailed it, Reem. Thanks, but that was all you. Actually, no, it was not. He only did 600 damage. You did much more than that. Oh my god, look at all those points. Was that hardy powder? The best ingredient in the entire game? Well, at least it wasn't the last one. Because, like, everything that was good needed hardy powder. And it's one of the few you can't just buy in stores. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just going to get this chest. Oh, chest, mushrooms. I wonder what's inside. Earth lance? More like earth garbage. I mean, it's actually probably kind of okay. Like, we could equip it on you instead of... I mean, I don't know why this isn't on here, but... The magic spells, they actually have powers now. Like, they, they tell you how strong they are. I don't think they did that in the last game. I think I remember being kind of like, why, why don't they tell you how, like they tell you how strong crafts are now, but they don't tell you how strong magic spells are. So good that that's been fixed. Yeah, we ain't going to Trista. Well, maybe if Reen does his thing, we could go, but um, otherwise probably not making it. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Oh, it's like they set up a checkpoint. Oh, those armored cars, and they even got a few soldats on watch, too. Man, I can't believe they got those things stationed at checkpoints! Looks like Trust is being really heavily guarded. The route does lead to the capital as well, so that's no surprise. Well, there's no getting through here, unfortunately. Sorry, this is a waste of time. Not at all. Thanks to you, I can get back to focusing on the task at hand. Seriously, uh, thanks. Hey, no need to thank me. To be honest, I was just hoping I'd be able to get in contact with old Mitch. Oh, I didn't realize you guys were that close. You talked to him about him, Reen. You read the book. Salim was always around him when he was uh, breaking out sardines. Maybe. I've known him for years. I figured talking to him would be the fast way to figure out what's going on elsewhere in the country. Oh well. Well, if we're not going to achieve much hanging around here, we best get out of here before they spot us. Yeah, we're not too far from Celtic. It is pretty cool, like, how kind of important Tobol's character has ended up becoming. You know, going from being a... Uh, what was seemed like a fiction, I mean, kind of like a semi-fictional character in a book from the first game to be in a fairly major uh, character by this point, like five games in or five games since, six games since. I don't know, man, math.
Hello, Mr. Snail. Goodbye, Mr. Snail. That's cool. I didn't want an item or nothing anyway. since the last time I was in Celtic. Those farmers said there were tents here, but I was expecting worse. Yeah, that didn't actually seem that bad, even with the odd armored car here and there. Probably evidence of how much this war is going on and going in the Alliance's favor. Hmm, so they let that get to their heads, have they? We should start asking around to see if we can get anything out of the townsfolk. You're just hoping someone knows something about the rest of Class 7. Right, oh, but one warning. I'm sure you don't need to tell me this, or need me to tell you this, but you're pretty high on the Noble Alliance's wanted list. Even if you're in plain clothing, try not to stand out too much, otherwise it's all over. Understood. Okay, let's get to work. So, Celine, here's a question. It's been on my mind since the start of the game. How the hell your ribbons stay, uh, so fresh? Didn't that thing be raggedy as hell by now? My sister finally came back! I shouldn't- Oh, I shouldn't be happy about it, but can I help it? Oh, I missed her lots if she was gone. Oh, fucking, she's back, dude. Uh, I remember her name. Becky, I really can't be bothered with anything right now, especially with the grand market as dead as it is. Who are you talking to? Is that a Thor's uniform? Come on, you know Becky. You may have forgotten her name for a second, but you know her. Ah, oh, hey, pretty sure I know you from somewhere. Oh, black hair, diligent attitude. Reen, is that you? B Becky, you know her? Yeah, we're in the same year at Thor's. How'd you wind up here, Becky? I live here, you fuck. Uh, hold up, you're the one that should be explaining yourself first. Oh, you can tell me all about Blondie here while you're at it. Uh, okay, maybe we should all calm down a bit first. Green gave a brief explanation of how he came to visit Celtic. So there was like this big robot, and I'm like a legendary chosen one, and then like, I was fighting Crow, and he had like a big robot, but then I lost the big robot fight, and then I had to go like fly away, and I like slept for like a month. Uh, it was crazy, you had to be there. <laughs> Alright, well, I was deaf, I think I understand any of that. So basically, you're looking for the rest of Class 7? That's the gist of it. You managed to make it from Thor's on your own, right? Only really impressed. Aye, truth is, Hugo secured an escape route for us. That's how I managed to make it all the way over here. He was a student working at Kleisten Co., if I remember correctly. Help, son, does that mean he's not here now? Aye, I've got no idea what happened to him after that. Aye, we bam chose the worst time to act all cool. Might be a little insensitive to me to ask right now, but what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, do you have any info about Thor's or the other students? Anything on Class 7 in particular would be a huge help. I had the girl I escaped us over at the church. Other than that, I've got hee-haw. Provincial Army doesn't really care much about his normal students either. Really? I, I was questioned a fair bit when I first got here, but after that they just let me do whatever. It's probably enough for them just knowing they can keep an eye on you. The second you start acting suspicious, they can swoop in and toss you in the slammer. They probably see Class 7 as the most suspicious of all. Oh, uh, red is sus. Yeah, I know I always have to sleep in one eye open around here. Well, uh, thanks for letting us know, Becky. Just try and lay low for now. Aye, aye, that was the plan. I don't think I got the motivation to do anything with the Grand Market in this sad state. Hey. Madaki's asking me if I want to help with the store, but honestly, I can never be bothered. Hard to find a motivation when the Grand Market's in this sad state. You already said that. I can still hardly believe this is all happening. There should be enough that my sweet Becky's come home, but I'm not going to stay relieved when I'm so worried about a future. Hello. Probably shouldn't talk to you, but I'm going to do it anyway. Splendid, simply splendid. It won't be long until the remainder of the Imperial Army of Croix and is wiped out. Let's exterminate them swiftly and restore our Empire's dignity. Um, but like, aren't we like technically commoners? Uh, won't we be discriminated against once the noble rule comes into effect? Uh, should we really be fighting for these guys? I'm starting to think that maybe we're the bad guys. I'd be lying if I wasn't jealous of the lucky batches making a name for themselves at the Twin Dragon Bridge. I won't they let me pilot one of the soldats too. You there with the black hair, where have I seen you before? Um, we're a famous actor. Oh crap. 
Let me see the imagine the things. Either way, beat it. Our guardhouse is no place for commoners. Don't forget that we're the ones keeping Kelter from getting pulled into this war. Hey, see ya. Our guardhouse is off limits to civilians. Turn back or else. Or else what? What's up? Crazy how York's a good friend of the market managers. Even crazier how he's one of Keldick's legendary merchants. That's why he's here helping out the market manager busy handling other issues. Kinda hard to believe that this is with the same pervy junk that spent the entire day at the Weathercock. He's a completely different person now. You've come a long ways past few years, Lizzie, especially up top. <laughs> and then she shoots him. Keep that up and I'll tell the market manager. Okay, maybe not. As much as it pains me to do this, I made up my mind. I'm closing up shop and heading back home. Doing business isn't exactly easy these days, and there's my family to worry about. Maybe I can come back with those wars over and done with. I look forward to seeing you all again if that day comes. I've been helping the market manager thanks to York putting in a good word for me. You the guy that was learning, trying to learn how to be a merchant from this dude in the first game? I'd like to stop you, and you seem to have made up your mind. Sorry for bringing this up out of the blue. Don't even think about it. Grand Market's always values a merchant's freedom. We'll take care of the rest of you. I wish you well. Thank you for everything. Now, if you can just take off your top real quick, um, for business reasons. If you're looking for Otto, I'm afraid he isn't here at the moment. He's left to make an appeal to the provincial army about the tax increases and railroad restrictions. He may be at war, but they can't expect us to put up with everything. I mean, they do have big mechs, so, I mean, what, what you gonna do, man? Shame we can't use the train. Uh, it's supposed to be a quick journey away. Well, not much we can do about it. We best get back to searching. Vegetables and seasonings really are far too expensive these days. Oh, this is all because of that noble alliance. I don't want them to hear me saying it, but I really, really hate them. He was never seen again. The map of Celtic. Bro, there's one road. Why well, you need a map? <laughs> Tax has been bumped up thanks to this war. Thought it was bad before, but man, it doesn't help knowing they're using the money to fund the war either. Yeah, it really kills their motivation to get anything done. Oh? You wouldn't have any one of the students who sorted things out at the park earlier this year, would you? That's right. Wait, is that you, Johnson? Someone you know? Yeah, we first met during our field study here in April. Looks like you kicked the drinking habit. Is it safe to assume that you got your chat? Oh, yeah, you were the, the park ranger guy. <laughs> oh, man, I'm embarrassed you had to see me like that. You're right, though. The market manager put in a good word for me, and before I knew it, I was a park ranger again. Of course, that hardly matters right now when the park's closed due to this war. All I can really do at the moment is repair the front entrance. That's a shame. I hate to say it, but that works out in our favor. No risk of anyone coming across Valimar if it's closed. In the meantime, anyway, I doubt we'll be able to leave him there for too long before someone notices. I'm gathering materials from our repairs at the park entrance, so I'll be here in Celtic for a while. If you ever need anything, let me know. Thanks. We'll let you know if uh, anything comes up then. I really owe you guys for everything you did for me. I've never gotten rehired enough for you, and this job means the world to me. Of course, not exactly getting much work done right now with it being closed and all. The park itself has been rather strange, too. The monsters within have become far more aggressive, for one. Who knows when it'll come back to business at normal rate? You're gonna need your ass kicked, kid. <laughs> Take that, you big dumbo! You wanna get your revenge out to catch you first? Then she shoots him. Get back here, Jake! That's one bug in my pocket too many. You're gonna pay! Yeah. Oh, this two never change. Life's hard for everyone these days, but they just don't care. They really need to grow up soon. We have so many people coming here to the church these days that none of us have much time to rest. Things have gotten a little better ever since an apprentice sister started helping us out, though. Ooh. She works efficiently, and I've never heard her complain no matter how much you pile on her. Truly inspiring. Okay. I mean, I, I have a feeling I know who that is. Well, I don't see you anywhere, but... We're lucky that Celtic's surrounded by so many farms. Even the war can't take that big a toll on our fruit supplies. The best thing about fruit is that you can make juice out of it whenever you're too busy to eat it. Here, give it a try. Let's go. I'm too old to follow this talk of noble alliance and soul dots and whatnot. It's plain to see we've hit some very dark times. Who knows if things will take another turn for the worse. Until then, I'm just drinking my grapefruit juice. This church has become a gathering place for those who have lost their homes or simply fled from the horrors of war. To me, as a sign, the civil war will only lead to more and more turmoil as the rig continues to rage. It pains me that I can do a little more than provide comfort to those who the war have already affected. Perhaps this is a trial passed down to us by Adios herself. 
I plan on heading to Berea Hard, but there's still no sign of the train. Well, there's no point standing around waiting, though. So I've come here to pray. It's not exactly easy to stay calm when there's a war going on. Uh, a after all, you know, war going on outside no man is safe from, from these streets. We done took. Took. I forget the line. Welcome to head down scared to look. This is the Grand Market, huh? Pretty lively. Not as lively as it was, though. Yeah, there's like four people here. What are you yeah. talking about? This ain't the market I know. Hmm? Hi, hey, Ranger Madman. What are you doing here? Good to see you again, Lyman. It's kind of a long story, but... He didn't explain that he was here to search for his classmates. Ah, that explains it. <laughs> can I deny that you almost gave me a heart attack? Oh, I'm afraid I can help you, though. Becky's back home, but I've never seen anyone from Class 7. Right, well, still, thanks. I know better at all. My grand market's in a sad state, as you can see. We're doing what we can to get things back to normal. Feel free to come along if you need anything. Can I have it for free? Absolutely not. Thanks, man. Yeah, how do I make that recipe? And is it any good? Fresh herbs. So herbs, syrup, and shells. We can't buy shells. Those are monster items. Wait, is anybody good? Uh, Tobel's good at it. I believe in you, Tobel. As my voice uh, gets all clogged up. Okay, I'll take a crack at it. Looking good. All right, you're fired, Tobel. Oh, I'm asking you to take care of shopping again. Hmm, I should get some vegetables out there on sale. Our taxes are even higher now, so I need to shop smart. That means no sweets, no matter what. Well, maybe a little. Oh. Apologies, do ignore this old man and his silly imagination. Things haven't been great here ever since the war broke out with the tax increases, lack of trains, and goods being seized. Many of the merchants of the Grand Market just weren't able to cope, so they up and left. I uh, can't deny that I've considered doing the same myself. Definitely want at least, like, at least one smoke grenade. I think we actually did have one, but... I managed to make ends meet despite everything. War is but a common sight when one has been around for as long as I have, after all. I have plenty of experience dealing with hardship like this. Of course, that's hardly anything special. Hello, honey lady. Honey fact time! See, you didn't think I remembered what she did. Be sure to take good care of your honey during the winter, otherwise the terrible phenomenon known as the cold will freeze it right up, and that's a no good, no sir. Not to worry though, place your jar in a nice bowl of hot water and it'll be fixed up in a jiffy. Just make sure not to warm it up too much or it'll lose all its flavor. You can count on me for all your honey related needs, and whether it be a purchase or advice, I'm always here. That's why they call me the number one honey handler in Narabonia. Does anybody actually call you that? Well, no, it's basically a self-appointed title, but... Uh, you have now been subscribed to Honeyfax. Uh, please reply stop to stop receiving messages. Step right up. We got big sales on the finest jewelry straight from Brayheart itself. Did you hear about the plans to cut taxes massively if the Noble Alliance wins this war? That's true, and they have my full support. <laughs> um, I hope your business goes under. I don't want to talk to you anyway. Oh, there she is. Oh, come on. We just want your company for a while. I need to resist you, pretty thing. You Okay, can we, like, fucking murder these guys? My apologies. I'm in the middle of doing some work for the church, and I happen to be underage, too, so... Underage? Come on, man. This is Erebonia. It doesn't matter if you're underage or my sister. It won't stop us here. No need to be so quick to say no. Just come to the guardhouse, pour us a few drinks, and you'll be all right. And if you really don't want to come with us, though, we have other options open to us. you would be surprised how easy it is to bring a girl like you in. We don't even need a good reason to arrest you. But, but I... I'm starting to think the Noble Alliance aren't good guys. Are these guys for real? There's a way to stop them. Hold on, let me handle this one. Slingshot their ass. Goodness me, you wouldn't have to be soldiers in the provincial army, would you? Huh? Oh, lucky me. Couldn't ask for a better time. You see, I was kind of hoping for a teeny tiny favor from you guys. Who the hell are you? Beat it. 
Hey, hey, we're all friends here, right? Sales are all some introductions. Call me Phil. I'm just an average, friendly contractor looking for some good business partners, so to speak. After hearing about your valiant accomplishments during this war, I just knew I had to work with you directly. That's why I was kind of hoping you'd put in a good word with me with your head honchos over at your guardhouse. Excuse me? Why would you ever do that for a lowly merchant? You sure? You sure making that assumption? You could be missing out. Hey, to brag, my reputation's pretty up there. Who knows? You might even get your name out there for introducing me. Huh. Come on, don't let it go down. Actually, here, maybe this will help convince you. Purple slipped the soldier some mirror. Hey, that's mine! Now, wait just a second. It's fine, it's fine. Think of his little gift he won't. So, what do you say, fellas? Good grief. Well, I got no reason to turn his sick of gift now. Fellas, pass your name on, but wouldn't hold my breath. That's what I like to hear. Wow. Ta-da! Tell me impressed. Tell me though, where did Phil come from? That's one of the many used names he used to go by. Hey, a man sorted that out nice and discreetly, right? Braces like you have definitely earned their name. Thanks for the help, Tobel. I thought I was gonna have to resort to force, but I'm glad we were able to resolve things without even having to reach for your weapon. Ah, no problem. Anyway, you alright, sister? Uh, yes, thank you very much for your help. Reen, what are you doing here? R Rosen? Is it Rosen? I never remember. I think, I don't know. Another acquaintance of yours. Yeah, she's another first year like me. I'm glad to see you're safe and sound, Rosen. Well, likewise. Would you mind accompanying me to the church? Staying there for too long, major draw unwanted attention. Sounds good to me. After you. After they walked to the church, Reen took the time to explain how and why they were in Celtic. You're searching for the rest of Class 7. I can tell you that you've been through some rather trying times. Well, I'm not the only one. Sounds like you had a rough too. You and Becky escaped together, didn't you? Here, Hugo's the one who uh, told you how. That's correct, though we did end up splitting up from him along the way. I've been taking shelter here ever since. All while praying as much as possible for everyone's safety. Any change of anything about the other students, or maybe even the academy itself? We're trying to figure out as much as we can. Fortunately, I don't know anything. That's a shame, but the important thing is that you're safe. Actually, on that note, is the provincial army always that bad? Kinda messed up, they're getting flat out hammered in the middle of the day. It's a relatively common occurrence, yes. They'll often get drunk and start breaking things, or take goods from people's stalls without paying. It's not as though the merchants can do anything to stop them, either. Nobody wants to have their goods requisitioned. Hmm, sounds like soldiers who aren't on the front lines have a lot of free time on their hands. Keldic hasn't been swept up in any battles so far, so yeah. Well, be sure to take extra care of him here on out. And be sure to give the soldiers wide berth. Thank you for your concern. Or at the very least, learn how to shoot some magical fireballs. Or, you know, light, faith-based magic. Uh, I'll be praying for you both to be united with the rest of Class 17. Thanks, that makes the two of us. I'm terribly sorry that I can't be of more help to you, but despite that, I'm sure it was the goddess's will that we met today. I'll be keep I'll keep praying on that you'll be reunited with the classmates once more. Oh my, you were cost of us soldiers. I'm so sorry. It's all because I sent you out in my stead. Please, there's no need to blame yourself. I should be the one apologizing for causing you so much concern. You guys say the same thing? Yeah, you said say the Say the same thing. Take that, you big dumbo. Ha <laughs> ha Freaking got him, dude. I mean, let's go talk to Sausage Lady. And look at stuff we can't afford to buy. That's pretty good. 9,000 HP. Those punks in the original army have been throwing their weight around ever since this war kicked off. Hmm, which is to say it's business as usual for them. It's never been this blatantly bad before. Worst thing is, we're not turning out much of a profit here either. We'll pop by the Orbital Factory and then head to the inn. Oh man, it's one of the most old-fashioned people you'll ever meet. I kid you not, he went after some soldiers who came in the other day because he didn't like their attitude. I wish he realized what sort of situation we're in right now.
Oh, they give uh, 20 a pop now instead of 10. Extra XP? Eh, not, that's not for me, but... It is relatively cheap. We definitely want at least one EP charge. And then, yeah, definitely want a tier. Even a Thalos would be kind of nice. Can we get a, a Soul Blur? It's a 30% faint. That's pretty good. Just as, like, spamming. Even on, like, low... I mean, you know, it's better than a uh, spamming Airstrike. Which doesn't have any status associated with it. We could upgrade your fire slot for relatively cheap. Are there any fire quartz we want? Not really. Okay, so heat up's not as good as it was in the Cold Steel 1 difficulty mod, and it still wasn't that great. Heat wave. That'd be kind of nice. It's gonna be kind of hard to support with our mana, though. I don't think I'll buy it. Honestly, I'm doing that more just for the extra mana on Reen. Or did it actually increase his mana pool? I feel like it didn't. Yeah, I don't really care about information at all. And I don't care about poison. Could get rid of Earth Lance since we have Heat Wave now. Give you Soul Blur just because it's I think it's better on you. Then we do the Scepter thing, which the stats on Wing aren't bad. It's like it's a, it seems, seems like they're a bit better overall, like the, the max values. Any of this we want? No, so Proxy Puppets are just very good in this game. Probably worth buying one. And then, I don't know, the problem with getting Proxy Puppets is that I run into like too good to use syndrome, even though they're relatively cheap. Well, I don't know. I didn't really... I mean, we used them a couple times in Cold Steel 1, but I still think just, like, the fundamental concept's kind of broken. So I never really used them that much. I mean, there are some fights that you kind of have to use them, especially early on, but... Like, if you, you know, if there's an attack that hits the entire screen and will one-shot everyone and you don't have any way to play around it. Like, I remember having to use them for the... The Chapter 2 Old Schoolhouse fight with the the triple face monster wall things. That was a very annoying fight. Because it was basically if they hit Elliot three times in a row, the fight was over, so you had to have proxy puppets. Right then, 11 mirror it is! Let me remind you that I'm taking a fairly large hit from this. You sure you'll be able to get that 200? You bet, I ain't a man that goes back on his word. Oh, if it isn't Tovel. Wait, you're one of the people from Class 7, aren't you? What a surprise. Uh, Ixnay on the Class 7A. Uh, hey there, Luis. You're looking chipper as always. I was kind of worried about this place, but everything seems to be fine. Things were crazy when the war force broke out, actually. The train stopped all of a sudden. People couldn't get home. We had to pack them all here so that they had somewhere to sleep. We even had people sleeping out in the hallways. But yeah, the situation has definitely improved since then. Though I guess that doesn't change the fact that we're super busy right now. Haha. <laughs> Times just be pretty tough for all the merchants, but I'm sure everything will work out soon enough. Times like this are when you need to rely on positive thinking. Working together with Marco for a little while now. His prices are rather harsh, but he's able to get his hands on supplies in bulk, and that's a hard thing to do these days. We've had our fair share of disputes, but things are working out between us now, I'd say. Times are tough, so I started selling more than just processed goods. And it took me forever to go store on my own, but you can bet I ain't giving up on it anytime soon. Things like eventual armies of crack position and goods and pretty much everyone. They even make us farmers hand over a portion of our harvest. Oh, they don't give a hoot about the time we spend growing them either. 
Uh, who would have guessed that getting my hands on a train ticket would be this difficult? If only I came here to conduct some, I only came here to conduct some quick business, and now I'm stuck waiting for the inspection process to finish. Where, where did the days when traveling here from Heimdall took less than an hour go? Is that, is that who I think it is? What are you doing here, buddy? My friend Ricky was on his way to Heimdall right before the war broke out. No one spotted him ever since. Ricky, where are you? Bro, Anton, why is your life so sad? I went through a heck of a time trying to get to Heimdall, but I couldn't find any signs of him there either. D don't worry, Ricky, I'll find you no matter whatever it takes. Get him, Anton, the real protagonist of the trail stories. Now, I know we're supposed to talk to the lady there, but can I go up this way? Where do you think you're going? Uh, so let's get back to Aston around town. Cause I mean, there was a house over that way. I wanted to make sure we couldn't go there and talk to people. Okay, um, I think we'll go ahead and stop here in case after we talk to this lady it procs like a story cutscene or something. Next time we will uh, talk to Lady, finish gathering information in Celtic, and figure out what the hell we're going to do uh, going forward. I'm Extra Cheesy 87 stay tuned for the next part, and bye guys.